What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr Woz and in today's video I'll be testing another money maker from the Osiris wiki and this time it's making snapdragon potions unfinished. Now I'm going to go through as many of these money makers as I can and I'll try and make as much profit as possible and I'll switch things up depending on what you guys want me to do in the comment section below. Now before getting to this video I just want to mention to you guys that I would love to sort out a Corporal Beast mass event seeing as we haven't done one in a while. I really enjoyed the last one we've done especially when we got the Arcane Sigil drop so comment below if you guys are interested or you can also message me in game as well. Now making Snapdragon Unfinished Potions was released on the 4th of July 2004 which was a very long time ago and this item is needed to make Super Restore Potions. Now this method sounds very tedious and boring, which it is, but you can actually make a lot of money doing this method as well. Now according to the Orisaurus wiki, you can make around 1 mil GP profit per hour, which is really good considering there is little to no effort when doing this method. But it also depends on how fast you are and that determines on your GP per hour. The wiki mentions that you should be using 4,000 snapdragons and 4,000 bars of water to make the potions, which is around 36 mil. Now this does cost quite a lot of GP just to make 1 mil GP an hour, but this method is for players who has quite a bit of GP spare in the bank. Now you don't gain any XP doing this method, this is just pure GP per hour, but there is a way to gain XP using these potions and I'll explain in a minute. Now before I jump into the requirements, when doing this method you can use any bank, I'm just using the crafting guild bank as that is the bank I use the most, but you can use any bank when doing this method so it's entirely up to you. Okay, so for the requirements, you will need 63 herb lore, which is the level to make unfinished snapdragon potions. For the recommended items, you will need GP, as I mentioned before, and you will need to spend around 36 mil to make that 1 mil GP profit per hour. But if you have around 18 mil, for example, you can still make around 5 to 600k profit per hour. If you have anything lower than that, then maybe this method isn't for you, as you'll be only making 1 to 200k profit per hour, which of course isn't great. The next requirement is completing the quest Druidic Ritual which gives you the ability to use the Herblor skill. This is a very short quest with no skill requirements so should only take you around 15 minutes to complete. Now what I like about this method is that you're at a bank at all times and you won't have to move at all. And this method can actually help you with your clicks and how fast you can get the items out of your bank and craft the potions etc. Now what makes this method really profitable is that you can sell the unfinished potions in a grand exchange for around 9.3k GP each and they do sell at mid price as I've tested this myself. Now normally people would make these into super restore potions using the red spider's egg on the unfinished potion and you gain 142 XP in herb lore per potion made. But the super restores only sell for around 8.5k GP each in a grand exchange, so you're making around 800 GP profit per unfinished potion, which is really good. Now once you've made the super restore potion, you can also extend that potion into a Sanfu serum, and you will need a unicorn horn dust, snakeweed and nail beast nails. And at the moment the potions are priced at 25k GP each, which is really really expensive. Now one other reason why I like this method is because it's somewhat AFK, it does take around 15 seconds per inventory but it's not click intensive like some other methods out there where you have to spam click making supplies so it's quite chill. Now there's only one tip I can give you guys in order to do this method efficiently and this will help you out to make the most amount of GP per hour. Okay so the tip is when you're getting the supplies out of your bank to make the potions, Make sure you turn on your quantity settings so it only takes out 14 snapdragons and 14 bars of water. To do this you will need to go on the X setting in your bank, right click and set the quantity to 14 so when you left click the items out of your bank it will only withdraw 14 items at a time. This will save you a lot of time compared to doing this manually and of course it will help with your GP per hour. Okay guys, so I'm almost at the hour mark now and if I can give two downsides to this method, it would be one, the repetitiveness as you're doing the same motion constantly and it can get boring fairly quickly but you've got to think of the GP as it's very fast and very easy. The second downside is that you don't gain any XP doing this unless you make the super restores as I mentioned before but you will lose 800 GP per potion. Now some people can grind this out all day and make lots of money and some people like me who can just about manage an hour or two of this but if you're in desperate need of money then this is a very good money maker as it's fast GP. 
Okay, so that is the end of the hour now, and let's price check all the unfinished potions that I have crafted and see how much profit I have made. Okay, so here is all the unfinished potions I made within the hour, and I managed to make 3,979 out of the recommended 4,000, so it's not too bad at all. So let's price check this, and I've made 36,877k. Now let's minus all the supplies that I used, which was 3,000. 979 snapdragons and 3979 baths of water which comes to 35 mil 874k so my total profit comes to one mil profit on the dot so really pleased with that considering i didn't do the last two inventories within the hour and still managed to make over one mil now let's go back to the osiris wiki and it mentions you can make around one mil gp profit per hour making 4,000 unfinished potions and as I've made 3,979 potions, I still made 1 mil and 2.7k GP profit, which is 5k GP short of the wiki's target. But obviously, if I finished all of the potions, then I definitely would have made a lot more profit than what the wiki requires. So a very accurate money maker and a very profitable one as well with minimal effort. So that is the end of the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one, if you did smash that like button, comment below and let me know what you think about this money maker and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new for more old school runescape money making videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.